Hi everyone, it's Ms. Robinson. Today we'll be working on a non-fiction sequence using the Scratch website. Remember that the Scratch website is a great way for you to be a computer coder. You are in charge of whatever's happening on your screen and you have all the power. This is the Scratch website. It was created by MIT and this is a little sample project that I made for you to see. It's a dialogue it's a nonfiction article that I read and then I created a dialogue. And the dialogue is a sequence first, then, next, and last. We're working on this project as a team of teachers so we can learn how to code and now we want you to try it too. When I look inside this project, I see that there are lots of parts to the screen. This is my title, this is my viewing window, and here are some details about what I'm seeing on my screen. This is the backdrop. This is sprite number one. That's my cat. They call characters sprites in Scratch. And this is my sprite number two, the hippo. You'll notice that when I click on the icon for the sprite, the script over here changes. And this script is the list of commands that my sprite will follow. When I go over to sprite number two, this is the set of commands that sprite number two follows. And how did they get there? Well, in the middle, this is a set of menus. They're all organized by different types. And these are menus right here that show me different commands that I can put in this command screen right here. Today, we're focusing on these two menus, events. Those are in brown. You see that corresponds with what's over here. There's a when flag clicked command. That's to start my script. Here's a when I receive, so I'm receiving a message. And there's a broadcast, where I'm broadcasting a message. Those are all in brown. When I go to this medium blue right here, these are my looks commands. My looks commands make me see things like showing a character or a sprite, or showing something on the screen where they're saying words. These are speech bubbles. And if I click on this command block right here, you'll see the words will appear on the screen because those are say commands and I look at them on the screen. I'll stop that code right there so I can continue showing you. Now notice that there are numbers in my receive and broadcasts on my commands over here. I have the first sprite, cat. When clicked, it shows. Then it says these words and it broadcasts a message. That message is one. So code block number one is finished. That gives the command to hippo to receive it and start to speak too. So sprite one is the cat and sprite one speaks first, broadcasts message one and gives it to hippo who speaks and then broadcasts message number two. It goes back to sprite cat who receives message two, uses these say commands, and broadcasts message three. Back to hippo, sprite number two, who receives message three, says these words, and broadcasts message four. Back to sprite number one, who receives message four, says these words, and broadcasts message five. And that goes back over to hippo, who receives message number five, and says these words. Now you may have noticed that there are different numbers in these little circles right here at the ends of these commands. The say command has in it whatever I type. So right now it says hello out there. Have you ever wondered who's in charge of Google? I can change those words if I want to. Hi there. Have you ever wondered? Who is in charge of Google? Now that's a pretty long sentence, so I want it to be on the screen for a little while so I can read it. So I'm going to leave it up for about six seconds. I could change that by clicking the number and making it shorter or making it longer again. Then I have this say block that says, his name is Sundar Pichai, Hippo and I read about him. And everything I'm putting in here is happening on my viewing window over here. So I go back and forth between sprite number one and sprite number two. Remember that I'm using the events blocks. 
and I'm using the looks blocks. Now that you've seen how we created the code, let's watch our project. Remember that I started with a when green flag clicked command. So let's do that. But before I watch it, let's make it full screen. I click on that little blue box, and now let's click the green flag. I'd like you to stand up in front of the room. We'll pick two of you, and you can read along as these sprites speak. One of you will be sprite number one, the cat, and one of you will be sprite number two, the hippo. Let's get started. I hope you enjoyed reading along and giving some voices to the sprites. Now let's go back to our project page so I can see what's going on inside my script. So right here I have my script for sprite number two and this is sprite number one. So when you go back and forth you'll create these codes. Now how did I get those codes where I put them? Well I went over to the menu blocks, I clicked them and I dragged them over. Then I go back to my looks and I get a show command to make my character show on the screen and then I have my character say what I want it to say and I change the duration right here. When I'm done I go back to events, I get a broadcast command and if that's message number one I give it a one. If it's another message I can make a new message and give it a new number. If I don't want this block of code I can just drag it back where I got it and get rid of it. So that's how you create a dialogue using two characters, or sprites as they're called, in Scratch. You'll choose a backdrop by going to here, and you can select the backdrops tab and get a backdrop from the library. You can see I chose the boardwalk. You can choose any backdrop you want and then click OK. I'm going to click cancel because I already have my backdrops selected. Then I selected my sprites. You can select a new sprite by going to here and choosing a sprite that you like best. I chose the cat and the hippo from these menus. You can go to there, select your sprite, and say OK. I'm going to select Cancel because I've already selected my sprites. If you change your mind and you don't want a sprite, you can always right-click on the sprite and delete it. But remember, if your sprite has already started to use command codes and dialogues, all of that work will go away if you delete the sprite. So if you'd rather just make a change, you can change it. But this is how I select my sprites, this is how I select my backdrop, and then I go to my menus and I drag my commands over to the command window. Now it's up to you. Remember, you have a script that you've prepared with your dialogue in front of you. In mine, I've got sprite number one in yellow and sprite number two in green and each character speaks three times. Use your script, create your dialogue, and have some fun.